Hello everybody, Buddy Webb Midland, Texas. Got a video I'm going to do for you called Proof Showing That I Was Not Shot With My Gun. I think I'm going to send this in an email to uh, uh, Mayor Lori Blong, City Manager Tommy Gonzalez, and Chief Police Greg Snow. Okay. Hey, here's what I wrote. The police reports show that CSI Marty Barrett picked up my shotgun from my home and then checked into evidence four live shells, but he did not check in an empty shell. If I'd been shot with my gun, as falsely claimed by MPD, then there would have been an empty shell in the chamber of my gun. This was one more proof showing that I was not shot with my gun, which means that I was shot with another gun from two inches above ground level. Somebody under my home had ambushed and shot me from point blank range directly at an artery after stealing my cell phone and disconnecting my home phone lines. This was premeditated, cold-blooded murder, but their shot had threaded the needle between an artery and a vein, which allowed me to crawl out on my hands and knees to survive. God saved my life after they planned my murder. I'm the first to admit this is a crazy story, which is why I'm so thankful for the huge amount of evidence. Nobody can call me crazy anymore. This isn't hard to figure out. Other evidence. Size of pellets removed from my foot were 2.5 sizes different than the size that were in the gun. And... Logically, if I'd been shot from point blank range with my 12 gauge shotgun that had a seven and a half shot in it, then I would not have a foot today. And shot from burglar, and, and I was shot with burglar arms going off in the attic, recorded on a voice recorder stolen by MPD. People in the attic reported nationwide now. Proof of police officers Davis, Dickey, Chatwell, Angel, and Hell under my home on the night that I was shot by somebody under my home. And multiple people documented saying that tunnels and underground homes are here with many details. And this includes a guy that was running for Midland Sheriff. And Google Maps showed an underground home in the backyard that was used for the oil show parties. This was deleted by Google after I notified the city of Midland. Lisa Rogers told me that I was shot with a 45 handgun. There was not enough physical room in my small utility room to have been shot with a four foot long 12 gauge shotgun as falsely claimed by the Midland Police Department. But there is enough room to be shot with a 45 handgun, just like Lisa Rogers said. So how did Lisa know this? Was she under my home that night or was one of her sons here? If I had died as planned, then that I would, would have given my special home to the ex-wife along with the extra half million in accidental death life insurance. Her lifelong friend was Detective Rosie Rodriguez, who ruled this failed murder as an accident. She had taken my life insurance books a couple weeks earlier. Of course, I knew that burglar alarms were going off my attic when I shot, and this was no accident. That's why they needed to falsely claim that I was crazy. Thank God I heard all of those other crime victims reporting people in the attic on the police scanner. And now they've got the scanner encrypted so nobody can listen to it because they were getting caught in this organized crime. Evidence shows that my x-rays were fake, and, and they then cut off my heel bone and cut a large hole in the side of my foot to make it appear that I was shot with a shotgun. I was crippled on purpose for life to cover this failed murder that would have given my home to the sister-in-law of the ER doctor at the hospital at the time. The ER doctor wrote on the report that I had a through-and-through -through gunshot wound that appears to come from a shotgun. This was interesting wording since I shot with a 45 and a special bullet to make it appear to look like I shot with my shotgun. After I survived this premeditated murder attempt, the ex-wife told me that the ER doctor was her brother-in-law. She had told me a few weeks earlier, with 100% sincerity, the secret is that a group of doctors are killing people for profit. She didn't say just killing buddy, they're keeping killing people. I wondered if her brother-in-law had been involved in planning my murder to make it appear to look like, uh, look like an accident so they could get my home and make her sister-in-law rich. The conclusion here, uh, without a doubt, undeniable conclusion, I was shot with a 45 handgun loaded with a Glazer safety slug to make it look like I was shot with my 12-gauge shotgun. This would stop them from getting the death penalty, that's how big this is, and would add in a half million dollars in accidental life insurance. God bless, buddy. Okay. And y'all pray for the mayor and the, and the chief of police that they, get, they make a good decision here.
Okay, and so I want to show you the evidence here. This is from the police report. This is from Tony Barrett, the, the CSI, Marty Barrett. Okay, and he was at my house at 1210. He says, I contact, I, 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 it says I loaded evidence from the scene included a shotgun. Okay, so he picked up my shotgun. He didn't mention a tie wire because there was no tie wire. That was a lie from Detective Rosie Rodriguez. Okay, he checked in four live Remington 12 gauge shotgun shells, but he did not check an empty shell. He couldn't even get these shells out of my gun without unloading that that empty shell from the chamber and the reason uh, he didn't check an empty shell because I wasn't shot with my gun that's all there is to it okay. Lisa Rogers here she says uh, Lisa C. Rogers, you're not disabled with a 45. Well, you know, how did you know that? And, you know, I, there there wasn't enough physical room for me to be shot with a uh, tw four foot long 12 gauge shotgun, but there was enough room for me to be shot with a 45 handgun. Okay. Here, uh, this is the surgeon's report. Okay. And the, and the surgeon stated there was a large amount of plastic and lead pellet debris. Well, there wouldn't be plastic in there if I shot my 12-gauge shotgun. And then somebody says, oh, oh wait a minute, there's a wadding in there. Uh, that don't work, though, because the ER doctor, my brother-in-law, removed the plastic wad from the room in the emergency room. So the wadding was removed before surgery, okay? The, the Glazer safety slug that goes in a 45, that has a plastic tip on it. Okay, I want to show you where I shot in front, right in front of this cabinet in my small utility room. The kickboard was gone. The door was gone. The shelf was gone. Ex-wife had already told me there's a trap door here, okay? And the, and the shot come in on the front side right here and went out the back, okay? So two inches above ground level, about that tall. They were waiting for me to walk by, hiding under my house, and pulled the trigger. This was, this was uh, you know, absolutely no accident. Cold-blooded murder. And they had my phone lines cut so I'd bleed out and die. This is the Glazier safety slug. Here's the pellets. The pellets are the same size as the pellets that were found in my foot, and it has that plastic tip, and that can be bought for a 45. okay? X-rays were faked at the hospital, okay? Uh, this is what my heel bone looks like. This is what my heel bone, uh, they said my heel bone uh, was on the night of the murder attempt. It's gone. See, it's gone, but I hadn't been to surgery yet. See, there's the date, and that was before surgery. Well, I knew it wasn't gone, and the ER doctor says uh, a through and through gunshot wound. So me and the ER doctor said it wasn't gone, okay? The only person said it was gone was Detective Rosie Rodriguez, okay? You see in the pattern? Okay, uh, here here's the surgeon or the ER doctor. Right ankle exhibits a through and through gunshot wound, which appears to have been sustained by a shotgun blast. That's interesting wording. Appears okay. And I'm gonna show you what my foot looks like now. I can't show you what it looked like two weeks after the fact because it's too graphic and, and, and I'll get gigged on social media. But this is what it looks like today. That's the back of my foot. Here's another on the back of my foot. And there it shows the whole heel bone's cut off. They took the x-rays of somebody else's missing his heel bone and they put my name on it and he is missing his heel bone. So they took me into surgery and cut my heel bone off. That's what happened. Okay, in my backyard, you could I found it on Google Maps, was an underground facility in the backyard. You can't see it from above ground. I told the city of Midland about it, and it got deleted. Okay, and then Tisha Bromley told me that her sister used to go to oil show parties and confirmed they were in the underground homes. So the oil show parties were going on in the underground homes, and one of them's in my backyard. Aaron Packerhofer told me, he's, he's actually a Freemason here in town. He says, can I ask, there were four people who were murdered, died in your house. What are their names, okay? And I, I, I found evidence. I believe that the last owner, Mike Lawn, was killed here, taken to Fort Worth the week before the 2008 old show parties were going to start in his backyard, okay? And then coming from the Home Depot to my house, they cut a, they cut a, a, a tunnel right here, a ditch, and or you can see the asphalt different color. I found that on, on Google Earth Maps. You can still see it today in my backyard as one of the underground homes. Ricky Ronaldo said uh, that him and his brother used to go in the tunnels under this house when they lived here. Okay. Okay, that's the same one. Okay. 
and here the ex-wife had taken my life insurance books. I worked for DCP Midstream 2012, and I had basic accidental death and supplemental accidental death added two times annual base pay in $250,000. So there was extra half million dollars if her lifelong friend, Rosie Rodriguez, would rule my murder and accident. And I 100% and I believe that was going to happen. And I found out in court two years later, they had gone to elementary school and junior high together. They have been friends all their lives. I didn't know that. Officer April Chandler was about an hour after I shot filling out an emergency detention report, 1103, and she wrote, Mr. Webb showed paranoia to the extent that he shot, and then she scribbled out shot. He caused himself to suffer a gunshot wound. So she's saying that uh, I was home minding my own business, and that caused somebody to break in my home, come up phone lines and shoot me. And finally, this is an email between myself and Texas Ranger Strain, and I was telling him the biggest deal here is the doctors killing people for profit. 